Hello there everyone, this is Neko Knight here, getting ready to play Planet Crafter. And today we're going to be, well, beautifying the planet, um, mostly because we're starting to get a little bit of lag here because of the sheer quantity of items. I set up a bazillion algae farms right there in order to do crafting and my game is not really liking that too much. So I might have to move this entire crafting station somewhere out of my frame of reference in order to deal with all of this. Because as you can see, it's a little kind of, mm, it's not completely horrible, but yeah, it's starting to get, it's slowly starting to get there. This kind of makes everything look eh, not the best. It looks kind of cartoony-ish rather than what I'm used to. And also you can see it, it removes quite a bit of the particles and stuff. But you can see it improves. So I'm hoping they're going to do some optimizations. And as you can see here, I've gotten everything set up. And I will tell you, as I figure things out, I will tell you roughly the amount of uh, quantity of items you need in order to mass produce to keep up with these. Because I will tell you, these things speed craft faster than you can supply currently, unless you are 100% prepped for them. But I've got sulfur, bacteria, plankton B, Tier 2 Fertilizer, Honey, Mutagen 2, 1, 3, Water. And then we got over here, Tier 2. And then we've got Methane and Nitrogen. All of this to do the little farm. And then we've got this in order to trash any C's, extra A's, extra B's, extra fish, all that fun stuff. So that we can just simply, holy mother of flip nuggets. So I can simply just do this. And I might have to start um, putting other things to feed in here. I am also getting ready for a rocket um, palooza the third. I've done two of them before on this series and we're plan I'm planning a third. But we're going to need a butt ton of bees a butt ton of tree bark and a butt ton of everything else while we're at it i'm going to be setting up some tree spreaders now i will tell you i would like to set up the best of the best trees however since they look ugly i'm going to be sticking those or not ugly they don't fit the biomes in other words they they don't fit most of the biomes i want to place them at I'm not going to be putting them there. I'll be putting them in the mushroom cave. And since this one and this one are the only two renewable crafting seeds, these are your two major main options. This one because you can now craft these, but it's going to take forever. So I'm not going to show you crafting every single one of these every single time. I will show you where plant volness is again. And uh, a couple of these other plants, you can find them growing naturally, but they're going to be rare. So now that we've got all that covered, it's time to get about 10 tree spreaders. If I want numbers, I would completely ignore the flower spreaders. As you see here, 325 oxygen, 43.5 plants versus 8,500 oxygen and 1,250 plants. Plus you throw that with the mushroom seeds and whoo, you've got like no tomorrow on production. I will be going up uh, or going through and upgrading everything to the highest tier. First, we're gonna get some tree spreaders and fish farms going. We're gonna need at least eight fish farms for the golden fish and, and then we're gonna need at least 10 tree spreaders so let's get the fish farm going first we're gonna need what is it two nuggets plankton a's and three uh silk so if we need eight i oh, stupid drones screwed everything up i don't know if i have enough now all right 
next we're gonna need besides the silk we're gonna need bio nuggets and plankton so eight a plankton so let's grab those i may have to put some of the materials up because i may not be able to carry all this i am hoping they introduce uh like tier six backpack and i don't know oxygen tank tier four or, or not actually you don't need i and i meant tier five but realistically you don't really need it once you get to the breathable atmosphere other than swimming swimming you do need one and otherwise you could potentially drown but they don't have that fully properly set up just yet and yeah i don't have enough for this so one two three four five we'll take five and we'll put more the silk up three fifteen so that should be enough for five then we need uh what is it? Ten nuggets? Yes, ten nuggets. And I definitely need to get a lot of production up. Although, if you're trying to, like, mass produce, like, make this game satisfactory, you're going to need a lot, a lot, a lot of power. And I've made suggestions in my previous videos about an auto-genetic sequencer... An auto uh, trash can, an auto recycler, and tier 2 drones capable of picking algae and vegetables would be very, very helpful and greatly appreciated. Alright, we need to grab the eggs before I go out there. And I think I'm going to have to start focusing purely on the telos because they're easier to come by. I can passively gain those while golden. I have to craft them and like, yeah, that, that's like, that takes way too long. And it takes several tries. And as you can see here, the drones can pick up bees. I've got bees in here and I've got bees in here and I'm about ready to get more bees set up because or more bees three to get set up now where the hell is the rest of my oh right they're in the tier two aquariums oops i gotta tear those down once we get all this set up and going we'll be good to go like this here needs to be upgraded i have a couple of them around here that I need, like, I can take this one and this one and combine these two into a tier two. That should help reduce lag a little bit. Get rid of this will probably help reduce lag a little bit. Oop, I'm full. I'll have to tear that down later. But I gotta make sure to do it in places that are far enough away to not mess with lag. Kind of like how I put one of these out here. And I think I'm going to have to go hunt down golden butterflies. So over here we'll be placing this. Also if you've seen throughout the series. There is a dead body in the water somewhere over here. If I remember correctly it's on this side of the cave here. You just come down. You'll have to have your deconstruct tool out. And then you can deconstruct the wall. I don't know if I was here. Uh, maybe it wasn't this side. Maybe it was the other side. I just know there is a dead body zone somewhere around here that you can deconstruct. And uh, high, zooming by like this at high speed, you're not going to be able to find it unless you're absolutely up against the wall. Because then it will show a deconstruct symbol. And yeah... It's over here on this side somewhere. I just missed it. I don't remember where though. Oh well. If I can't find it, I can't find it. Okay, maybe it was... A little bit deeper in. I do know there is. A spot. Over near here somewhere. I just can't remember. 
anyways that looks like it's floating but once you get up there you'll see some ground underneath it all right can I oh I thought I might have been able to get away with uh, placing it in the air and that would have been kind of funny to have flying fish all right these don't really spread out too far but I hope at some point they have like a tier two one of these where you can like where they can just simply swim all over the place all right how many do we hit oh well, that's all five Ooh, I slowed down getting in the water here and you'll find across here you'll come across holes in the map sometimes be careful you can't get stuck and you can lose your stuff so I highly recommend being careful all right, now that we got those set down, we can then start getting the tier five crafters. And while we're out here, I can technically have the game set up. I love how they just swim up in the water like that. You can, I can have the game set up on higher quality, which means I can actually see the fish farms at a little bit farther distance than what I currently can right now. Because I kind of just sped through and just plopped them all over the place. Right, there's one. And this will generate equivalent to... Got you flip nuggets, get out of the water. This will generate equivalent to... Uh, what do you call it? A tier 2... Uh, whatever... Aquari yes, a tier 2 aquarium with the animals, and it only takes one. So if you have three golden in it, it is equivalent to one of these. However, that takes less power. So I recommend getting those when you can. Alright. More fishies. And then we're going to start setting up some tree spreaders. Actually, this area doesn't really need them. It's the desert area where I'll start placing them. Ah, here. And we need one more, which should be out over here. But did I already get this one? Nope. Perfect. There we go. So now we got the fish set up. Uh, originally, if I remember correctly, those were the best trees. Or second to best these two trees were the top tier trees, but now, due to their readjustments, they've kind of... <clears throat> so, and if I remember correctly, one of them required golden seeds, so I kind of lost out on some golden seeds, which makes me a little sad, but hey, the game changes and stuff changes and all that fun stuff. Alright, home... Now we need to grab these and set these up. And then after that, I'll probably start upgrading some of the other stuff. But for now, let's just get these. We're going to need a bunch of tier two, some tree bark and all that. If I'm going to set up 10 of these, I won't be able to put seeds, but I will be putting in these seeds here they don't they're not the best but they look better than this at least for s more biomes this is like specific biomes there's two maybe three biomes i would place these which actually i'll go show you the idea of where i would place them now where is it map zoom out a little bit scroll down so biome number one would be the mushroom biome down in here there's already a bunch of them all over the place biome number two 
is this area right here? It's it appears to be like some kind of barren wasteland or something. And it, I, I feel like it would be a perfect spot to place the mushrooms. This one is potential. This might be a good spot to place it too. At least based on looks. Because this is an exotic place. And you could just assume the mushrooms grew because of the exotic area like that. But for the rest of the places. Like here. And around here. And here and over here and over here and all of this stuff here they don't really fit all right we need water we need food and we need tree spreaders at some point i definitely need to get my uh last two butterflies and i need to start prepping for my amphibian collection Pretty sure they're going to have a, a capable of collecting frogs and all that. Which means I got to be prepared for that. Alright, so what do we need for this? We need super, and if I plan to put 10, we're going to need 20 fertilizer and all that. And we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and... 1, 2, 3, 4, so 5, 10, 15, 20. We need 40 flip nuggets. We can't do 10 right away. So we'll get 7. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go with 5 for now. We'll get 5. So we need 5 zeolite, 5 super, 5 like nuggets. Nope, no nuggets. Five super bacteria, zeolite, and tree bark. I'll end up forgetting that, but let's grab that. Super, 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 super. We'll grab five of these. Now we need bacteria and tree bark, which I need to get more tree bark places because it takes forever for the tree barks to grow. All right, we got five of those, five of those. We can go down, grab the bacteria samples, which actually do I have? No, no, nope, nope. So we got to go down. Dang it. This is why you need to up your production because when it comes to mass producing and mass building, it's gonna, you're going to be waiting for quite a while. Okay, what do we have here? One, two, three. there we go. So that's all that. And now we just need the tier two fertilizer, which we can simply just snatch from here. Perfect. Now that we've got that, that, and oh no, wait, oops. Perfect. Now we can go set up over at the desert oasis over here. We can set up our uh, tree spreaders on how we want to set them up. And then after that, I'll call the episode because we'll get, we'll have done two areas of beautification. Although this area still needs to be done more, not just, and actually I need to put it like a tree spreader in here somewhere. But we're going to have to add in flower spreaders here. I think I'll add flower spreaders on the islands, like little islands here. And then I'll add tree spreaders on the edges around here. Probably should put one right about here, probably. They cover a decent area. If you want to maximize covering trees, you simply just look... One thing I would appreciate is the ability to turn on and off those things. So if we want to look at it roughly where the circle goes, we can actually look at it. Uh, I feel like the water here is supposed to be higher. Like it's going to raise up and connect over here. 
But for some reason, it hasn't fully gotten, it hasn't fully filled up. So I'm assuming they're planning to adjust water levels and adjust more things. Alright. We need to place down about five more. Or not five. Well, yes, five more. But for now, let's just get this all out. And then as we get these all filled out and with trees, we'll be able to fill in where they need to be. Adjust how much we're going to place. All that fun stuff. Alright, how many do we have left? One more. Okay. But as you see, this area is big and we're going to need a lot more to cover it. So. Plus, this will help with making, if when looking over the map, to make things much more prettier. Now, if you manage to make it this far, you'll get to learn where the one plant is. That rare one plant. Now, I've picked a few, and I don't know if they grow back or, or any of that. It's also where you can find a uranium cave, too. But this is where you can find it. I know there's one around here that I missed. I don't know where I missed it. I just remember seeing it. There's also some secrets hidden in here. If you want to know what they are, you can simply just check out my previous... Uh, or check out my series that I've done so far on this. Where the hell is it? It's really hard here. Uh, with the getting dark time, it's going to be hard to see. I'm going to flip nuggets. Oh, I did not know there was a chest here. It's not a gold one. So most of it, I don't really care because I can mass produce it. Or speed produce it, but still. Actually, I forgot to... I, I, I know, I just checked, but... See the light bacteria this, that... Hmm... I might come back for the these two things here as an emergency for when I want to get like eight bazillion more uh, extractors, especially on iridium. Huh. I know that I know it's here. I've ah perfect right here. Ta-da! Plant vulnus. See. You can find them here at this location. Uh, I don't know how many you can find. And I don't know the exact location of them. But they are here. Alright, well. I have I've did a little bit of prettying up. It was not the most, probably not the most entertaining episode. Unless you just hear me, enjoy hearing me talking and seeing the stuff I do. And the things I think about and the things I suggest. But for now, if you enjoyed, please like. If you didn't, I understand. Also, over here is the uranium. And if you want to see more of this series, make sure... Oh, no. Oh, y yes. See? Uranium. If you want to see more of this series, make sure to check out the in-screen credit, as I do. I am doing more on this series. If you want to see other games I play, make sure to check out my channel. I do play other games in the process, and I do show all kinds of other tips, tricks, helpful hints, and other fun tidbits, and show you all kinds of other uh, little helpful stuff along the way. For now, I'm going to get ready for the next episode, so if you want to be added on to the end screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After about two or so weeks, I'll add you on. If you leave before I reach a thousand, though, I'll remove you off. Because it's for people who gave me a chance. For now, hopefully you guys enjoy watching me run around here and try and find some other stuff. And I will say, there's all kinds of secrets hidden in this place. And you should really check out my series. Bye bye